How are you guys doing? This one's called Watch Channels That Pretend to Fight Watch Scammers But Just Talk About Faceless Entities Are Baloney Slingers. And Baloney Slingers, they sure are. These guys they have a watch channel and they'll talk about different schemers and scammers and watch robbers and watch criminals and all that. They'll talk about this all day long. However, they choose who they want to talk about very wisely, but because they choose to talk about people that can't be identified. No name given, no description given, no nothing. No website given, no nothing. So, they're just baloney slingers. They're just talking about anybody that's safe to talk about that has no repercussions on them. And they can just pretty well just say whatever they want, right? How about they talk about the scammers that are hidden right in plain sight? Because there's watch scammers that are hidden right in plain sight. And there's a couple of watch channels that do name names. I congratulate those watch channels. And you guys, if you're watching a lot of videos, you can probably find those good channels that do name names. And these channels that expect all this credit for fighting watch scammers but never name names and just choose the safe option that would they can talk all day long but it's very safe to do so, they're baloney slingers. I mean, who can't do that? Who, who can't be just done, say, taking the safe route? If they want to pose themselves as fighting the watch scammers, start naming names. Start naming channels. You know, you don't even have to do that. You can just describe the scheme and the scam so people know what you're talking about. That's a little bit of urban, urban gentry style siren going by. That's okay. That's cool for watch channels anyway. So what do you guys think of that? So do you want to sit there and listen to a guy chew the rag all day about somebody that can't even be identified and think they're a hero for doing so? Or would you rather listen to somebody that's brave enough to at least describe something you can identify with? Come on. So what do you guys think of that? I'll give you guys an example of a good channel that will name a scammer. And that's Fat Cat Collections. If Fat Cat Collections gets ripped off by some watch seller, He'll name names, so I congratulate him for doing that. You might find this surprising, you guys, but there's another watch channel that actually names names too, of some of the scammers, and that's a channel called It's Complicated. Imagine that. And he did a video, uh, Christopher actually did a video called Discussing John McManus and Showcasing the McManus 2824-2. So he named names, and that was a very effective video. See, what's the point of going on about some scheme or scam or something where you can't even identify who's doing it anyway? I know things are set up that you can get privacy complaints and copyright complaints, but at least you could describe it so people know who you're talking about, right? And to always talk about the schemers and scammers that could never be identified, like let's just say talk about some guy that was like a purse snatcher, well, what the heck, you can talk about him all day, but he can never be identified. So you're really not accomplishing anything. You're just talking about the existence of the crime. But, like I said, there's watch scammers hidden in plain sight. There's watch scammers right on YouTube, and they'll do sponsored reviews, never disclose them. They have fake views, they have fake subscribers, they have fake upvotes. And they'll pull any kind of scheme, any kind of watch scam that they can. And they've been doing it for years. And all you have to do is wake up and start doing some research. And a good place to, if you want to do a research about watch schemes, watch scammers. Like if you're really new to the whole thing and you don't really know where to start. Why don't you start with the ones that's doing the Kickstarter scams. The ones that put some fake watch on Kickstarter and then rip off a whole bunch of people. Start with those kind of scams. And that can lead you down the path of knowing who's doing the real watch channel schemes and scams. And that'll get you started at least. But these watch channels I'm talking about that pretend to be the, the whole leader of the watch community, they come on like, oh yeah, I'm the whole leader of the watch community, I'm up on everything, but can never name a scammer that's hidden in plain sight. They're just baloney slingers. Like, what good are they? They're no good for nothing. Really? What do you guys think of that? They're no good, those guys. They're just taking a safe way to make themselves look good, and they're just looking for more subscribers and more views and more YouTube money paid to them and more sponsor reviews and all that. 
and they're just trying to show off to the people that advertise on their site to get more paid advertisements on their site. So all these guys are doing is just, they're just interested in making money. They're just slinging safe baloney to make money. So they don't impress me at all. I like the guys that go out a little bit on a limb. And even Christopher, even Christopher from It's Complicated, exposed the guy by name. And this guy, Christopher, he's not even a great watch channel. He's able to do it. Come on. And so I think you guys need to wake up and start separating the baloney slingers from watch channels that are actually trying to give the names of the scammers. So I hope this is a little bit of a wake up for some of you. And I know some of you guys are smart. You know what's going on. So hope you guys go along with this. And so thank you for your time.